When the story first broke about the Magda hat wearing teenager and a Native American, it looked terrible. These smug, arrogant teens are harassing a poor, innocent elder. But after watching the longer unedited video, the media got it totally wrong. Here's what really happens. High schoolers wearing Make America Great hats are confronted by black Hebrew Israelites while they're waiting for their bus. A black supremacist hate group who is super homophobic. The black supremacists start calling the high school students faggots, white crackers, incest kids, and other racially charged terms. A damn faggot! That's right. Yeah, use a cracker. A bunch of babies made out of incest. The students start their school chant to drown them out. Goddamn dog. The black supremacists then start harassing a black student in the group for being friends with white people. When you get old enough, they're gonna steal your organs. Whoa, hey, we love you, Somebody has been watching way too many movies. The white students confront the racism by saying that's racist and we love you. Then a black supremacist says, you give faggots rights. You give faggots rights. And one brave teen confronts the homophobia by saying they're still human. But according to the mainstream media, the white students were harassing these innocent black protesters who were doing nothing wrong. A clash erupting between a group of teenage students and four African American young men preaching about the Bible and oppression. This failure is all of ours. I wish I could say to these students, there's no place for this in our society. You can't do this when you get older. Of course, young conservatives confronting racism and homophobia, that won't make the news. Then, the Native Americans approach the students chanting and drumming. The students are confused. You can hear them say, what's going on? One Native American says, go back to Europe. This is not your land. Okay, clearly they are not approaching on friendly terms. Now, I'll admit that a couple of the students were acting in an immature manner. The tomahawk chops were inappropriate and make them look bad. The Native elder starts banging the drum very close to one high schooler's face, invading his personal space. He stands there with an occasional smirk on his face. People are debating whether it's a nervous or a mocking smirk. It's just amazing how people on the internet can read his mind. He kept his cool despite being provoked. He didn't say or act aggressively. Gillette should be proud. There's no video evidence that the students were chanting build the wall or anything hostile at the Native Americans. They left untouched. Instead of being punished by their school, most of the students should be applauded for showing a great deal of restraint after being provoked by two groups. Shame on the media for running this one-sided story. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and check out our friends at The Daily Caller. I'm Julie Borowski. I have a YouTube channel, Julie Borowski, and also a website, Liberty Junkies. That's libertyjunkies.com. Thank you for watching.